Only two years away from the Summer Olympiad in Rio, and if things go as planned, we may have a promising young gymnast from Colorado representing the U.S. Her name is Paulina, Paulina Shinikova, the daughter of proud Russian immigrants. How did you end up in Denver at this gym? That's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful story. Alex and Katya Shinikova grew up in the old Soviet Union, both raised as gymnasts. For them, Gymnastics wasn't as much a sport as it was a lifestyle. How old were you when you started? Four years old. Four years old? Yeah. Both parents were gymnasts too, so mom and dad, they were both on the national team. What uh, were their names? Was, uh, Ivan and Nele uh, Shenikova, but uh, that was a long time ago, it's in the 60s. In our age, it was different. We spent so much time in the camps, like about 20 days every month. Like, we definitely live away from the family a lot. Shortly after the couple started their own little family, Alex took a job in America, a job in the family business. We decided to move in the middle of the 90s. That was like a very hard time in Russia at that time. And um, I got an opportunity to uh, come get here and work for USA Gymnastics. And so we decided it will be a good thing for, not for us and for our family. He just called me and said, they would like to come to United States. And I kind of have no clue and, and said, sure. Pretty much my dad was looking for a better future for me and my family. She was their future, their firstborn daughter, Paulina. Not even a year old when the Shinikovas immigrated to the U.S., now at the age of 16, she's the future of U.S. gymnastics. I'm very thankful for that. Um, I really don't think I could have done it without them. And they just helped so much, and I'm so happy that they're here. When we came here, we didn't speak English at all, so we have to we learn in the gym. They coached in many gyms, from Texas to Utah to Colorado Springs, before finally settling in at Tigar Gymnastics in Wheat Ridge. We was looking around and we found this gym and I think it's like a, will be the best place for us. It's become their second home. Paulina trains at Tigar, attends school at Tigar. This is the same gym that houses Venezuelan Olympian Jessica Lopez. We have a gymnast here at Tigar who competed in the 2008 and 2012 Olympics. Her name is Jessica Lopez. Um, and when I watch her train in the gym, she's just really expiring and I'm really happy that I have someone to look up to like that. Paulina is well on her way. With the help of her parents, she was good enough to make the U.S. national team. Now she's hoping to make the Olympics. My long-time goals are definitely to make it to the Olympics. Which, which games are you looking at? Uh, 2016 Rio. Rio? Yes. She's so focused on Rio, she named her dog Rio. She asked for dog since she was can talking. Really? Can talk, yeah. So she's every Christmas asks for dog. So finally we make a deal. If she make a national team, she can have a dog. Easy enough. Her strongest event is the bars. She trains four to eight hours a day, surrounded by impressionable little girls who watch her every move. They are all amazing. They're so sweet. I just love being with them. They'll just come up to me and give me hugs and ask me how my day's going, and they're just all so sweet. The goal is Rio in 2016, and she's not the only Shenikova with Olympic aspirations. Paulina's 12-year-old sister, Eliana, is also on the fast track. She's shooting for 2020. We're back in a